What's up Star Wars fans, welcome to episode 18 of Star Wars Go Figure. I wasn't planning on doing an episode tonight. Uh, today is actually the Thursday the 28th of March in 2019. Um, but events happening on the internet have decided to uh, uh, reveal themselves um, in one way, shape, form or another. So I wanted to just share a few thoughts. Um, provides a little bit of context and content for this uh, supposedly leaked episode 9 poster. So if you're trying to stay spoiler free, this is your spoiler alert. Um, I don't think I'll be delving too much into any spoiler territory, So, but if you want to go in clean, no preconceived anything to episode 9, now's the time to jump off um, because I will be talking about some things in this poster. Um, so yeah, jump off now guys if you don't want to know anything about episode 9, that's all I'm saying. But if you've been on the internet today, you've probably seen this thing floating around. <clears throat> now, this was sort of all over my Facebook this morning when I woke up uh, to go to work. And took a little while to, to ha process my thoughts. I've been thinking about it most of the day and spent a bit of time looking at the poster this morning. And uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely not the film poster. This isn't the film poster. This isn't going to be the front of the DVD. This isn't going to be hung up at, at your local cinemas with the, with the title. Um, from, my, from my point of view, this is a poster image compiled of multiple images um, for marketing purposes. So you will, this is probably a poster you'll be able to buy somewhere down the, sometime down the track. Um, from your local department store or whatever, you know, where you go in and you can go and check out all the movie posters. Um, and there's usually a big flip book binder sort of thing that you can flick through and then you just pick your poster tube up underneath, um, depending on the number that correlates to the one that's on display in the frames. Um, so I've got the feeling it's one of those tile posters. Um, but like I said, it's compiled of a mixture of images that sort of put together um, with separate, which you probably see a lot of these images separately through the marketing um there is no doubt from the leaked uh sort of behind the scenes stills that these are 100 percent legit pictures um i absolutely believe this is a 100 percent legit poster um but yeah and until i'm proven wrong um i'm just going to go with what we've got here i'm not going to it's you know we've this is a little poster that's come out and i'm going to talk about what's on it so um but yeah, as, as I was saying, I think this is strictly marketing. You're not going to see this. Is, this isn't going to be a main movie poster. Um, we're going to get something far more spectacular than that. And we're probably not going to get a full-on movie poster till later in the year. Um, if anything, this celebration in, that's going to come up in the next couple of weeks um, will probably be more so like last celebration where we got the small teaser trailer for episode 8 um, and a teaser poster, which was that beautiful poster of Ray holding up the saber. Um, with Luke and Kylo's faces intersected on either side of the saber blade, um, I think they'll take that route with Episode Nine here in, in uh, April at Star Wars Celebration in Chicago. Um, so, looking at the poster, if you if you've got it in front of you, you can also look at this poster. It's it says Star Wars. It yells out Star Wars. Um, there are no legacy characters on here. None of the main legacy characters. Okay, we've got Chewbacca and 3PO making an appearance. But for the most part, we've got characters from the from the sequel trilogy. Uh, obviously, the glaringly obvious ones are Rey there in the middle. Um, and Kylo Ren just underneath her. We've got Poe. We've got Finn. We've got the Knights of Ren. And we've got BB-8 up in the corner or on, the, on the right. Um, with another little droid that we've been hearing whispers about. And we've got three new characters which have been led to believe. There are, like I said, there are some single images of these out there. Um, so we've got a woman in purple which, with a helmet on, which is rumoured to be Kerry Russell's character. I um, believe her name is Zori. Uh, I think it's the picture I've got here is pretty blurry. Um, and then we've got this woman standing up the back there behind Chewbacca and her name's apparently Janna. So J-A-N-N-A-H. 
So these will be some new characters we'll be introduced to for episode 9. Um, and there's also this funny looking alien next to Finn there. Um, so whether episode 8 really tricked us and Rose was a shapeshifter and this is her original form, who knows? I've got no idea. But this is a funky looking alien, I really like the look of him. Um, I don't believe he has a name yet. So I thought we'd have a look at the individual characters. So right down the bottom we've got a squad of red stormtroopers. Um, First Order Stormtroopers, they're all clad in red. Um, apparently this is the 702nd Legion. And again, they've, their helmets have had a slight tweak. They've been given the uh, Mandalorian style T-visor. So still keeping in the structure of the First Order Stormtrooper, they've just given been given an extra sort of line down the center of the helmet where the top middle of the brow between the eyes meets the top of the sort of mouth bit of the Stormtrooper helmet. Now there's one in the middle and they're sort of flanked by um, more of them. So there's a big squad there. Uh, just above them we've got some regular First Order Stormtroopers um, in white. We've got some TIE Fighters and some... Uh, what are they called? There's a couple of Resurgent class Star Destroyers there um, down the bottom. There's a new TIE Fighter which... It looks like a normal TIE fighter, but it's got pointed forward wings, so it's like triangle wings, and they're sort of pointing forward, um, almost like a TIE interceptor with that sort of second bit, that, that middle bit between the wings closed up. So that's interesting. Now we've got Kylo Ren, as I mentioned. He's got... Um, he's, he's holding his lightsaber in a reverse grip, which looks badass, if I'm honest. He's also got a big cape with a hood on it, and he's got his helmet back, which has been the rumour that he has put his helmet back together, or the Knights of Ren have rebuilt his helmet for him. Um, and you can see clearly in this picture that it is held together with some kind of red, glowy substance, um, whether it's some kind of space glue. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, bright red, so you can clearly distinguish where... The helmet has been smashed up when he when he pulverized it against the wall in uh, the Last Jedi. Um, so it's an interesting turn for his character, thinking that you know to impress Snoke he needed to destroy his helmet, something that he something that Kylo felt he needed to um, show himself as a more sinister person, um, hiding the face of you know he's quite an attractive guy in the in the big scheme of things um but it also hides the fact that he is human um a, a, along with these knights of ren here um so very interested to see how this plays into kylo and his personality what he's trying to achieve here in episode nine um so yeah that's that's very interesting i'm looking forward to it to the left we've got a good picture of the knights of ren uh there's six of them uh clearly all very similar we haven't really had a good close-up look of them yet um because they were only sort of in those sort of really dark flashbacks in the force awakens um aside from concept art and a few little behind the scenes things we haven't really had a good look at the knights of ren so this could possibly be our first first real good look at them um who they are what do they represent um is still yet to be shown um We've still got a lot of mystery revolving the Knights of Ren. Um, I'm of the belief that they are the other Jedi that Kylo took with him when they when he destroyed Luke's temple. Um, and they killed the rest. They are obviously loyal to Kylo at that point, And they decided to go off with him and uh, form the Knights of Ren in one way, form or another. We'll, we'll see, hopefully. Because um, they're a formidable looking bunch. They look great. I think their helmets will look awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to those action figures. Come on, Hasbro. I hope they've started work on them. So Kylo's looking pretty sweet. So the, the, the bottom half of the poster is definitely representative of the dark side. So you're going to see that sort of half of the poster split up into different marketing things. Um, and then the top half, you probably find these images somewhere down the track separately. So you'll have a good, good side and a bad side. Um, so looking at the top half, it's separated by a streak of light trailed by the Millennium Falcon. Um, 
it's it's a it's really small on the poster we so we can't see what the new radar dish is um but if you remember that scene in the last Jedi where they're flying around the caverns of crate the the radar dish does get knocked off again um so that's just a thing that the millennium falcon happens to go through all the time uh happened in solo it got knocked off in return of the jedi got knocked off again in the last jedi um and we'll be back with a new one for episode nine so let's talk about c3po now we're looking at him here right in the middle of the of the poster here and he's wearing chewbacca's bandolier he has Ray's staff over slung over his right shoulder and he is holding Chewbacca's bowcaster. Now, <laughs> what this is, he's decided to go full Rambo, and he's going to go and take on some first order, first order dogs. <laughs> uh, he has done some shooting up before with when in Attack of the Clones in the Geonosis arena. Granted, it was his head on a battle droid body, so probably had more programming taking over from the battle droid there. Three PO didn't really have a lot of control over the situation. Um, but he looks like he's ready to tear up. He really does. Um, and it's interesting because the Chewbacca just above to the right, he's still holding his bowcaster. So the bowcaster is appearing twice in this in this poster, um, which is really interesting. So we're going to see what what three PO is up to. I, I'm 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 really hoping uh, we get some more R two and three PO in episode nine. I uh, feel like they've been. That's one thing that has bothered me about the, the sequel trilogy is that the original two droids have been vastly underused um particularly r2 i love bb8 i, I really do like i've got bb8 tattooed on my arm I, i'm obsessed with bb8 i love bb8 but i love r2 and 3po and they deserve their they deserve their time to shine again um and i i have absolute faith that they will i you know we'll find out in probably seven to eight months or however far away december is so, standing next to 3PO there is Finn holding a small resistance blaster. Um, he's got an all new outfit. Obviously, the old jacket that Poe gave him was left on the Supremacy in The Last Jedi when they went and changed into their first order um, uniforms. So, he's got a slightly bit of longer hair. I guess it's just it's short. It's still short, but it's a bit longer than the buzz cut he's had for the last first two films. But he's got this cool sort of beige-looking resistance jacket. Um, so I, I'm I'm guessing he's spent some time fighting with the resistance. Now he's very well ingrained in the resistance. Um, whether or not he's a top lieutenant or general or something is yet to be seen. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing. Finn's story continue um I feel like he's slightly underused in The Last Jedi um hoped for a little bit more of Finn um and from all accounts we're gonna get it in this one so again coming back to this sort of alien um but standing next to Finn here he's a bit of a slug looking dude he's got a some funny looking eyes he's almost got um three little sticks hanging out at the side of each of his head so whether it's like ear sensors or something um he looks pretty funky i like the look of him uh yeah interested to learn more about that guy um back down to the right we've got a picture of poe dameron obviously he's going to be a very high up leader of the resistance um very looking looking forward to seeing his relationship and how it's continued on with leia um how she's still teaching him to be become a leader in the resistance uh i think he had a really good story arc in episode eight um in stepping into that leadership role and learning some big hard lessons um you know he needs to just slow down and think a little bit more and i think he learned some great lessons in episode eight and he's going to go on to be a great leader for the resistance um and Oscar Isaac's cool as so I'm really excited to see more Poe um, now going back to this sort of uh, bounty hunter looking character next to Poe here in the purple that I mentioned before again rumoured to be Kerry Russell's character he's always got a bit of a Zam Wessel sort of vibe but that could just be the purple um, he's wearing a pretty funky helmet uh, looks a little bit daft punkish <laughs> um, if I can say that he's got this sort of cool silver collar over the top of her shoulders um, some a gold band around her arm and another one around her wrist 
looks like she could be sporting a blast there at her hip it's too hard to sort of see um and then we've got bb8 sitting there with this little looks like a megaphone on a on a wheel on a unicycle but he's a little bit smaller than bb8 um so i'm interested to see what this little guy's deal is all right so obviously the big top half of the picture there is ray um we've sort of seen brief snippets of her outfit through that picture that jj abrams put out uh just last month i think it was she appears to have you holding the blue lightsaber um and from what we can see it is the same loot lightsaber that was split apart in the last Jedi. but it appears to have a bit of a leather band sort of wrapped around the middle so we'll see how she was able to reconstruct this saber um and i'm very interested to see um whether we whether that's going to be in film or whether that's going to be pre-film like in between so she's already got the lightsaber um my personal wish if 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 i don't if no one minds me chiming in with a couple of ideas um i think it would be fantastic to emulate that scene there's a scene in return of the jedi that was cut out um it was finally revealed on the Blu-rays back in 2011. It was shown at the announcement for the Blu-rays. It was at something, something entertainment show in Vegas. But they showed this scene, and it's Luke constructing his green lightsaber in a cave on Tatooine. Um, it sort of shows him making the last finishing touches, and then he ignites the green blade, disignites the blade, and that's when he sends R2 and 3PO on their way to Jabba's palace. Now, what would be great is to sort of emulate that scene, but it's Ray finishing off the last touches of, of the lightsaber again, and just ha being having an, having her in a cave or something, just to really emulate that scene with her hood up, a little bit mysterious, and she ignites the blade. Now, in terms of her outfit, it's it's very reminiscent of what she has been wearing ever since the originals, uh, the original Force Awakens outfit. Uh, with that sort of tan, tan sort of almost Jedi drapes over the over the shoulders, and they sort of cross over at her, at her stomach. Um, this time, she appears to have gone for a lighter shade of almost a almost a full white, and it looks like it's got a bit of a hood on it. So whether she can throw back a throw up a hood, that would be fantastic. Um, and she's got a sort of a band strapped around her arm where the Praetorian Guard sliced through her arm back in episode 8. Um, and just flicking over to another picture. Um, so she's still got the sort of... the drapey bits that sort of hang, hang below the belt. Um, much like her last Jedi outfit and Force Awakens outfit. Not the Resistance one in the middle, but... Uh, she appears to still be carrying the blaster. Um, and yeah, at the same time, it's very reminiscent of uh, Padme Amidala's sort of outfit from Geonosis. It's that white sort of white look. Uh, I guess you could compare that to the Bespin, Bespin Leia as well uh, from Empire Strikes Back, where she was dressed in a sort of white jumpsuit. Um, so it definitely harkens to that. But Ray's looking fierce. She's looking incredible. And if I couldn't love Daisy anymore, <laughs> Nine's going to send me over the edge. Um, so yeah, then we've, as I mentioned, Chewbacca's standing there looking as fantastic as always. And then we have this other woman. Um, she's wearing... It's hard, to, it's hard to see in this picture. It's quite... She's quite small in the background there. Um... She seems to have a bit of a cape going on, maybe wearing some goggles on the top of her head. Um, so I'm definitely interested to see. That's that Janna I mentioned earlier. So I'm, I'm really intri intrigued to see what's going on here. Um, and then just sort of in the background of the poster, it's sort of the Death Star walls. It's the black with the sort of white pipe lighting. Um, there is a proper term for that, but I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. Um, we've got an X-Wing blasting through, and then on the right we have an X-Wing flying up, uh, which appears to be orange in colour, orange and white perhaps. Uh, then we have an A-Wing flying up as well, just down to the right, and down to the right of that we appear to have a Y-Wing as well. So, 
it almost looks like the cover um, to Alphabet Squadron. So, well, there's a little bit of tie-in material there for Alphabet Squadron. I'm not sure. Um, I kind of feel like that was set in the Rebellion and not this era. So, I haven't looked into that a lot. But if you look at the poster, the front cover art for Alphabet Squadron, which is an Alexander Freed novel, I believe, coming out later this year, um, which is basically a, a squad of... Uh, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's rebel fighters so they've got an x-wing a b-wing an a-wing a y-wing a u-wing um, so we've got three of those ships coming up here so that's that's pretty much I've got the poster covered um, so that's we've got a good look at all the characters um, like I said there's no layer there's no Luke Lando's not on the poster um, I think some of those characters will be on the proper film poster, at least Lando um, coming back into the film. Leia, for sure. I hope she gets a bit of a spot on the poster. But uh, yeah, this is definitely going down that sort of marketing track, as I mentioned right at the start. Um, this is just piled together pieces. They've put some little background filters, a bit of back background glow between each of the characters, some drop shadows. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple stuff, really. Uh, if you've got the original pictures, anyone could do this on Photoshop with a, with a bit of time and a little bit of effort. Um, so we'll be interested to see whether this does turn out to be legit or not. Um, I think the images are absolutely legit. There's no doubt about that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Drop me a email or a comment either here or over on Instagram. Send me a message. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to talking some Star Wars again. I might have an episode next week. I'm definitely going to have one out before I go on holidays and jump on that airplane over to the United States again. So stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow being Friday, the 29th is going to be an exciting day. I've got to get up right and early. I've set my alarm because the sale barge is going up on eBay tomorrow. So wish me luck guys <laughs> um i'll be talking about it all over the internet if i if i manage to snag that one um lots of this about two and a half thousand people watching that on ebay so fingers crossed there's enough for everyone <laughs> um so yeah thank you for joining me for episode 18 definitely an exciting time uh this whole episode 9 train is taking off and we're about to get doused with information in it at celebration next month so if you want to follow along, jump on Instagram, follow me at The Force with Jesse, as always, facebook.com forward slash The Force with Jesse, youtube.com forward slash The Force with Jesse. I'll hopefully be doing some live videos on both of those platforms while I'm over at Celebration. Or you can drop me an email at The Force with Jesse at gmail.com. Feedback is always welcome. And uh, until next time, guys, stay wizard and may the Force be with you. Always.